All right, folks, today we're making these amazing looking Greek style gyros layered meat. It's time to grill. I recently launched a video for layered cordon bleu and that layered meat idea really caught me again. So let's get that idea started with chopping up two of these big sized yellow onions cut them in half and then cut them into rings. Then you will need a pork roast. Shoulder or neck will do a great job here. This is high quality German pork neck and we cut that pork neck into slices. Slices approximately the size or the thickness of one of my fingers. That's pretty easy. Place them in a bowl and then start with the seasoning. With special seasonings like gyros seasoning, I decided not to make my own mixtures anymore. So I just take a store product, a convenience product or one from the spice dealer of your own choice. They really have high quality and the amount of things you usually get by mixing them yourself is way too much. So I decided to do it that way. But of course, keep going if you are into mixing your own barbecue rubs. That's awesome. Place it in the fridge for two hours and then take out your cast iron pot, your Dutch oven, camp oven, whatever your name for that is. And the rest is rather simple. This is one of the dishes you can prepare indoors and throw it on the gas grill later on and it's really less work during the cooking time. All you have to do is take your Dutch oven like I do it here and then do the single layers starting with onions, meat, onions, meat, repeat. Just make sure to have enough onions inside that cast iron pan. It helps you from not burning the meat and it will help you have enough liquids inside that Dutch oven during the cooking time. Of course, you can top these with the barbecue sauce. Most of the people do. I decided not to do it like that. We are using tomato sauce and dried oregano. Tomato, passata, or you could use a simple pasta sauce if you like. Just sprinkle over some dried oregano, close the lid, and that's, that's all you need to do. Place it on the grill, in direct heat, or even your oven. 160 degrees Celsius, 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Total cooking time, 3 hours. And here is the result. I wish you could smell that. It smells so incredibly good. It's awesome. The meat is so tender. It will fall apart soon and it's kind of the idea of Greek pulled pork. Now we have a nice sauce with the onions and the fat drippings from the pork neck inside their Dutch oven. So make sure to give it a good mix. And it looks so good. It's so juicy and it has that nice flavor of gyros. I really enjoy meat this way. But of course, after pulling these, we're trying to build the pita now. And this is how it's usually sold in Germany. What I don't like, most of the Greek uh, restaurants and snack shops sell a, a decent amount of higher bread to meat. At home you can do your own share with the right ratio of meat to bread. So I decided to take one of these pita breads, I already heated that up, and only take half of it. Place some tzatziki or yogurt garlic sauce on the pita bread, followed by sweet coleslaw. And then, of course, a decent amount of that wonderful looking gyros layered meat. Amazing color. Some more tzatziki, red onions, and now feel free to add feta cheese, pepperoncini, dried tomatoes, there are a lot of things possible now. And of course, as always, I'm gonna give this a shot right now. Can't wait to hear your thoughts about layered Greek style meat. And of course, the idea of making that wonderful looking pita. I love things that can be eaten with my bare hands. Perfect stuff. Anyway, please hit that like button, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We have some more interesting recipes coming, even from Greece, I promise. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.
and yamas.